if you're like me, you have tons of cards in separate bins everywhere. I do have a Christmas box, but that's in the garage, and I make 120 cards a year, so that gets its own box. And I don't use them all, so it adds up. So, my cat loves my box, as you can tell. I am going to be putting that into this wonderful box right here. Okay, let me show you how I did that. I'm making my own labels. They are 9 16 by 1 and 7 8 And I'm using various Sharpies to label everything. And I will be adding more as I go, I'm sure. But these are the ones that I can think of right at the moment and as I get to the Christmas one I realize that I'm not going to need it because I keep a whole box just for Christmas cards I make so many of them during the year so I will finish these and show you the end result very soon stay tuned So here I have my filing system, and I have one big box of cards that need to go in it. So I have some Halloween cards complete with envelopes, so I'm going to put them where they go. And this is a thank you note to a teacher. So thank you, where it goes, right here. It's for this year, <laughs> so I can't send it out now. I'll just keep it to hang on to it. Um, I will be putting another file in here called New Year's Cards because I forgot to do that. And this is a card that hasn't even been finished, so I'll, I'll lay that aside. This is a Thinking of You card. So that will go here. And here's a bunch of birthday cards that I just made the other day. So they can go here. And here's another birthday card. One of my fancier ones. So thankful for you. I think that's a thinking of you card, don't you? And this is a Father's Day card. So I have that. And this is an old birthday card. I need to kind of fix it and it's not stamped in the inside, but I will put that in the birthday file. And this is an unfinished card, so it goes in the unfinished project pile. Do you have any of those? Winter Wishes. This isn't exactly Christmas, but we could use it for Christmas. So I will put it in the Christmas box out in the garage. As I said, I make so many during the year that I needed just one big box. Thank you cards, winter thank yous. So, thank you, right here. And let your light shine, that's so pretty. Um, Kind of a thinking of you. And here's some more Halloween. And that one needs to be fixed. That's missing something. And this is one that was made by somebody else. I think it was Paper Scrap and Chick. Um, Alicia. Alicia, I forgot her last name. But she has a store on Etsy. Um, let's see. This is a Thinking of You card. So let's put that in there. 
here's a thank you card, but it's not finished. And a Valentine card that's not finished. Several that aren't finished. So let's go ahead and... Okay, this is a 4th of July card. And I do not have a file for that. So I will be putting that together. Thinking of you. And another Halloween card. And here's a bunch of fall cards. I did make one just for that. But you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up and finish up this box. these for a Christian store that my daughter worked at. I still need to send those off. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I still have a little ways to go, but I wanted to point out that now it's easy for me to look in here and see what cards I have plenty of and what I need to make more of. And so there's a lot that I need to make more of. And so I will be doing that. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.